I understand the name of the you guys want do I want coffee? Yes, please. Oh, okay, that actually would be You don't need any more caffeine. Are you going to Starbucks? Yeah. Oh, this is a facade, sir. If I give you oh, money... Don't ask for, uh, if I give you partner numbers and if you claim you're that your name is Killian Garrett Brown... We'll vote, we'll vote for this at the end. Woo! This scenario, we all vote for somebody. Awesome. Do we have an award for conspicuous and gallantry? Like... The Sovamin Award. Last thing just to add a little. Last thing to add a little flavor and spice into it. Each team gets a few. And this is clearly an optional uh, house rule type thing. It's a little uh, card that they can play um, at any point in time during the game when it would be appropriate to do so. Each one of you on your side, you could divide these up as appropriate. Power spell. So, <laughs> what are my daily powers? How does this work? What? Yeah, in the Jewish of 4E, you get little daily powers. <laughs> All right, um, so let's see the Grenadiers. Where are the Ashara Grenadiers? We have You're no idea. Right, right here. Come on. Uh, we're going to get crazy. Where's that? Uh, stack the Grenadier roll, sir. What are your, oh, what's your team name? What's your team name? Grenadiers. Huh? Grenadiers? Just the Grenadiers? Oh. Oh, are there any other Grenadiers? Renegades? Oh, Renegades? Look, something? Something? Yeah. The Warriors! The Warriors. Hey, we're creeping dead. The Warriors. We're creeping dead. Creeping dead. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Like the bowling! Chris Hussey's butt. Hi, Chad. Hi, John. There's a long delay of two tours. Here's a stats. Where's my shot Grenadiers? I would have been. Yeah, Grenadiers. Take, divide them up amongst the four of you. I'm the only in there, so. Okay. Are we ready to? I drop for yourselves. The big supply thing that was dropped. This is and the objectives. From the opposite end of the map board with at least one unit in tech. So oh, once you find it, wherever it may be, you have to exit in that Chris opposite really direction. Old. So say for example, I've, if I've it is heard that Chris board, is incredibly old. In fact, we call him old man board. battle tech. Okay. So you just can't exit the same You just can't do that. So if it's, if it's here, you can't just get mm -hmm. it go off yet. You have to take it back in the middle. You've got to essentially run through a gauntlet. Okay. <laughs> the same is true for your Boris Simmer March Militia. Wherever you find it, you have to exit the opposite map that you are on. Um, same thing for the Farmer's Freedom Army. You want to you want to find it, load it, and then take off. You guys with mechs to pick up the supply drop. You have to have at least two functioning arms. If you're missing an arm, you cannot pick up the supply dump. You can't, yeah, you can't bite it in your mech teeth because they don't exist. <laughs> you essentially have to spend an entire turn in that hex picking up that supply dump. Right. Getting shot at a lot. And then, yes, and hopefully your buddies are there to help take some of that fire. Uh, I think we're good. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Is everybody here? Oh! Pass out the cards to everyone as long as you got the cards. What if we blind the supply Is that it for the, uh... The objectives? Uh, that's it. Hold on. I don't have to talk about it. Do we all remember what we were supposed to say? We started this an hour ago. Fear the Con Indy. Fear the Con Indy. Okay. They're going to hate us. Yeah, they're going to hate us. Right. I still think we should be able to hate us. We should probably say they're going to hate us. I love it. No. Okay, how about this? Are we going to hate us? No. I still. Fear the Con Indy. Fear the Con Indy. Fear the Con Indy. Fear the Con Indy. Alright. Okay. Anything else we should have? Okay. Mech Warriors ready to battle! Fear the Con Indy! Hi! Alright, medium range, so that's plus two. You're shooting through. You can just barely get it. You shoot through light woods. Shoot through light woods, so that's plus one. Um, what, did you walk or run? You walk, so it's plus one. How many hexes? Hexes in this whole marine room? Six plus two. So total modifiers are plus six. Uh, I'm I'm so you're gonna need a ten better than Yeah. Right. Which one are you shooting first? Hi. Uh, Hi. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't mind me. That's a miss. And the LRMs. Hi, Chad. That is a hit. Ah. Wolverine, you've been hit. That's not awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Now we're going to find out how many missiles. This is open gaming at Gen Con. What? These people are all just gaming their hearts out for free. 
to say, what the hell. This is actually a pretty nice location for open gaming. When the sun was up, we got a nice, uh, some nice lighting in here. It's very open. And uh, when we do our chant, it echoes like a son of a bitch. So uh, it's just people having fun, hanging out. And it's pretty cool. Nice, airy, lots of fresh air. It doesn't have that gamer funk like the closed-in rooms do. Chad. So, yes. Chris Hussey, host of Fear the Boot, you just ran a Toft Bitch event. I did. And you ran a, it was Battletech. It Tell was. us about it. Tell us what happened. The, um, well, first of all, I have to say that the, the whole Toft Bitch idea mm -hmm. worked like a charm. It was amazing. You know, I figured I'd get maybe five, six people yeah. to show up for it. And I had every available position I could have filled with the table filled um, with, I think, we even, and there were people who just came to watch. Yeah. So, I mean, that was, that was fantastic. We had like 13 people playing, I think, people and we had at least five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people streaming in and out over the course of thing just to watch us. Absolutely, and the 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 event the event itself um, went ran great, and you know, I, just like with anything, you go into it thinking um, that things are going to play out one way, and then they completely are different than what you expect. And this event was completely not at all what I expected, but it, it, it turned out to be extremely entertaining. Yeah, hold on just a sec. Hey guys, guys, this is going off with feet. Chris's Battletech game. What'd you think? I think that speaks for itself. Yes. Thank you. No, nice job. Good. Let me tell you the story. <laughs> no idea. Waffles. So, uh, yeah. So now I'm flipping exhausted. Yeah. And uh, I've still got to go and get some stuff up on the web so people who are not here can see what happened. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I've got the post Battletech game fried brain. Yes, me too. Every time I play Battletech. My legs are actually a little shaky. Yeah. Yes. Well, the, the, the coffee was. Uh, so, Jake, you had never played before. Never what played What is your impression of this? Um. Well, you I, got an award too. You yes, came I did. The big winner and the big loser. In the, in yeah. John had an AC20 and he rolled 12s on his hit location and blew my head off. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so I won the Optimus Prime Award. Nice. Um, I really loved it. Mm -hmm. um, most of the games I play don't involve very many dice or maps at all. Mm -hmm. um, but this was a very nice change of pace and I really enjoyed it. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Good. Yeah. That's, yeah. Good. that's, that's awesome. That's, that's, that's the nice part for me is that I like having the new players there. It's kind of fun. Um, um, actually, it's a lot of fun, but then having them walk away like Jake did or Arlie with that impression mm -hmm. uh, just makes all the difference. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll try and recruit some people in my hometown to be able to play Battletech. Yes. I might pick out some cheap shit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have to bleep that out? Yeah, man. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't go through iTunes, so it's you know, yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Balls! I can barely touch <laughs> 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 <laughs>